no secret that it's hot and humid here in the Magnolia State. But did you know some are more vulnerable to becoming dehydrated? We see who needs to be extra cautious in our Health Talk with Baptist. Who is at risk for dehydration and how is it treated? Infants and children are especially vulnerable because of their small body weight and high turnover of water and electrolytes. They are also the group most likely to experience diarrhea. Older adults are also at higher risk because of the reduced ability to conserve water, a less acute sense of thirst, and they are less able to respond to changes in temperature. Older people who live at home often forget to eat or drink. People with chronic illnesses such as uncontrolled or untreated diabetes are at high risk of dehydration. But other illnesses can also put a person at risk such as kidney disease, alcoholism, and adrenal gland disorders. Even having a cold or sore throat makes you more susceptible to dehydration. People working or exercising outside in hot, humid weather run a higher risk of dehydration and heat illness. When there is humid, sweat can evaporate and cool the body as quickly as it normally does, which can lead to an increased body temperature and the need for more fluids. Treatment for infants and children include rehydration solutions such as Pedialyte. In adults, most adults with mild to moderate dehydration can improve their condition by drinking more water. There is not a need for salt tablets, which may be dangerous. For exercise-related dehydration, cool water is your best bet. Sports streets containing electrolytes also may be helpful. Children and adults who are severely dehydrated should be treated by emergency personnel where they can receive intravenous hydration, something that is essential in life-threatening situations. Join us next time for Health Talk with Baptist. Mail your topic suggestions to Health Talk at WCBI.com. Health Talk has been brought to you by Baptist Memorial Hospital Golden Triad.